everyone, we're here again with George and of course Annie Mayer, the married couple who actually met in this site. And I want to congratulate, I want to start with congratulating you both. Congratulations, Anna and George. Happy that you got married. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So how did you two guys met? Through Mom Helen. Through yeah. the director of the, <laughs> the business. <laughs> Not in the social, just on the end emailing yes so you've been uh, writing back and forth for how long before you decided to come over here in Davao four months well I decided that I'd come sh shortly after we got in contact yes. mm -hmm. but yes and after meeting in person how do you feel towards Anna well she's wonderful she's <laughs> so sweet and kind obviously and, and, yes uh, just a, a wonderful person. Mm -hmm. uh, what made you say that before that Anna or Anna was the one for you? Because she came from a very uh, simple, conservative, uh, family-oriented mm -hmm. family. Um, you know, I, that's why I went to the Philippines in the first yes. place because. I wanted someone uh, very traditional mm -hmm. where I dated American women before and there are some nice American women but in general uh, what I had experienced for many years was that they were very um, uh, materialistic and very uh, monetarily driven mm -hmm. whereas the uh, Filipinas I, I believe most of the Filipinas mm -hmm. their uh, primary concern is the family and their husband yes. and their children and that's how I think too mm -hmm. You know, of course we need to make money in life, but what's most important is, is that person that will love you faithfully exactly. and stand by you and right. want to raise a sweet, loving family together. And those are, those are the things that you found from Anna? Immediately. Okay. Yeah, I can see, Anna, yeah. how about, I want to ask you, Anna, so what made you decide, what made you say yes when he asked you the, those magic words, will you marry me? Yeah, because it's a good looking first, of course. Because usually it's not the first thing you will attract with the guy. Yeah. With the look. Physical the appearance, yeah. yes. And also, most especially because it's a good person. Yes. yes. Salama. <laughs> Salama. So you've learned how to speak well, Tagalog now. During this interview, I'm trying to say yes when I, I'm always <laughs> wanting to say oh oh. Uh -oh. You know, because okay. I've learned more of the yeah, language. Yeah. Yeah. How did you learn that? Did Anna teach you that? Or. Um, how many times you've been here in Davao? Because I, did you just pick that with the people talking or from Anna? Um, actually, I probably learned more from her family members okay, and such. Because been, are they using Tagalog? Well, not Tagalog really. I want to learn more Visaya because Visaya. that's the language of Davao. Yeah, exactly. And Anna Mayer would prefer to speak more Tagalog when we have children. Yes. Um, because it's more of an international language and it's, it's the language the, of yes, the Philippines. It's the language of the Philippines. But I want to learn more of Visaya personally. Okay. And uh, I learn more from her family because <laughs> she teaches me sometimes words when I don't say it correctly yeah. and she doesn't correct me because mm. she thinks it sounds cute. Okay. <laughs> so how, have you, how many times have you been here in Davao? I've been now eight times in four years. Eight times in four years. <laughs> yes. Wow. Have you been to some of the tourist spots or nice locations in Davao? Oh yes, absolutely. I, I first of all, firstly, I love Davao. I really do. Well, made you say um, that. It's it's the safest city I've ever been in. Uh, okay. I'm from Washington D.C., yes. which is the nation's capital, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Certainly, there's many parts of Washington that are very good, yes. but there's parts that are not so good also. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Davao, um, it is it is so safe. And before I came to Davao, my yes. first time, I grew up with a family in the U.S. from Manila. Yes. And they were very worried that I was going to come to Mindanao because mm -hmm. of what they hear and yes. the, the news and all that. And uh, I told them, and I tell everyone in the U.S., that Davao is the safest city I've ever been in. And it's because the mayor, and now his daughter is the mayor, yes, uh, they run the city so well, and they keep it safe. There's such a security presence mm -hmm. that I can walk anywhere, go anywhere, and not worry about uh, anything. Do you have any messages for the guys watching right now, and of course for the ladies? I think that uh, the, U the American guys that have been looking for uh, really good, traditional, uh, family-oriented women <clears throat> should come to Davao, absolutely, or Cebu. Um, 
because and, and they're also beautiful women mm -hmm. uh, I think that if you're really looking for someone to share the rest of your life with that you can you can depend on you don't have to worry she's yes. gonna be faithful she's gonna be a great wife that's the way to go and you yes. want me to say something to the Filipinas also yes. um, that there the guys that are gonna come up this far uh, most of them are going to be really good guys, but still always use your intellect and talk to Mom Helen and yeah. the other ladies to get their opinions also. Oh, I talked to Mom Helen about the, uh, for her opinions of the, the yeah. women that I yes. met, because uh, I came to two, uh, two socials before I met Anna Mayer, yes. so I was very selective, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. I re you know, there's many great uh, women in the Philippines, but I've never been married before, and I want yes. this to be a one-time thing, exactly. so I really wanted to get the perfect wow. one for me. Perfect. So. Yeah. Check out our website at... If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.